Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'm going to go back to another country I've not been to for quite some time and that is the Czech Republic and take a look at one of their armies BDP 24 hour rations. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. And so, as you can see, I now have here laid out on the table this BDP Renew 1 from the Czech Republic. It's a 24-hour ration for their military. Um, comes in a brown plastic bag, very similar to the Lithuanian, the US and the Polish MREs. Uh, nice size, no easy open test seal, so we need to bring in... You know, my trusty old friend, we'll just slit across the top here. Inside the brown bag, we have a large box with a list of contents on the top there. So, what do we actually get in this Czech Republic BDP menu one? So, straight off the bat, we have a little accessory pack containing what looks like some wet naps just have a check there I think there are three wet naps some tissues, a spoon and I can see a couple of little toothpicks in there as well so a nice little accessory pack there stop it all getting mixed up we have it's obviously in check and I can't see the English so I'm assuming that's one of the mains, I'm not sure which. Um, we have to do a translation on that. It feels like a soup, maybe a soup. We also have another one of the mains. I believe these mains are supposed to be pork loin and potato goulash. So that might be the pork loin or the goulash. Pork loin, sorry. I will do a full translation, obviously. And the second main... So there are two large mains tins there. There is also, I believe, some well bashed up pate. I think that might be the pate. It's well bashed, had a good hard life up to now. We have two packs of crackers. Nice season in English. We have a corn crisp bread with fibre and a light crisp bread. So two packs of crisp breads. I think that has an instant um, beverage base powder. Again, as I keep saying, I will do a full translation on these when we're using them. This looks like some mackerel fillets. So there is a tin of mackerel. We have what I assume is two small chocolate bars. I'm not sure I can get them one in shot here. We also have three jams, which is nice to see three separate flavours, different flavoured jams. Make sure I can just about get all of those in there. We also have another accessory pack with a Ziploc bag and in here contains wow sugar 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 so it's two four six eight sugars so there are eight sugars there That's his coffee instant. Coffee instant. So there is two coffees. Very difficult to do without the translation. Two salts. I'm not sure. Multivitamins. So there is some multivitamins and some gum. So there's a multivitamin powder and some gum. And last but not least, two individual Ceylon teas. 
So, that is the contents of this Czech Republic BDP-1. So let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. And as you can see, and now I've here laid out on the tray items that I would consider breakfast from this Czech Republic 24 hour meal. And for breakfast, I thought I'd take a look at a coffee. There is a vitamin drink, just plain vitamins. Take a look at the light crisp bread, um, some of the liver pate. I have plum jam. We'll have a look at the mackerel, and we have chewing gum and a wet nap and a bit of salt to uh, round off so let's start where I always like to start and that is with making the drinks I need a little bit of preparation this is the coffee very simplistic brown bag no no labeling other than just coffee so just a medium looking roast there large granules just a medium looking brown powder so I'm also going to go straight with adding one of the sugars, a 5 gram sugar. Now there is no whitener or creamer, so it's black coffee. So I'll give it, I'll give it the full pack of sugar, the lack of whitener. That should just help a little bit. Um, take a look at the spoon, very flimsy looking spoon, not one of the best, not one of the strongest. It's quite weak, quite flexible. Um, don't know how that would last for three meals. I'm assuming the Czech Republic troops, they actually carry um, other spoons. This is just a backup. So we'll just give this a, about half a cup again, my usual. Give it its best chance of flavour. So just half a mug. Okay, so boiling water the spoon stood up so it's not as cold um, as weak as some of them I've tried some have actually physically melted uh, we'll have a look now at the this is just a multivitamin drink it says mix with 250 milliliters of water um, so it's just multivitamins I don't think it's a, any more than that I don't think it's a, meant to be a refreshing drink it's just purely a nice tonic drink powder so just a load of salts and minerals and vitamin powders and it does ask for cold water so we'll just get that made up and it says 250 mil so that's probably about three quarters of a glass I'll give it half a glass just to see if I can intensify some of that little bit of what looks like a lemon flavoring possibly so good mix multivitamins for the pate, I'm going to have a look at the light crisp bread. So there are two types of crisp bread. For this one, I'm going to bring in my old friend and just try some of the light crisp breads. So the standard style looking crisp breads there. Two, four, six of them. Just for demonstration, I should have removed two. Crumbly, dropping everywhere very large 120 gram pack of pork pate so no heating needed this one I haven't needed to warm these it's going straight for a cold breakfast so it's a standard style looking pate there also this one I believe is a plum jam there is three varieties of jam so I thought I'll try the plum very difficult to open very very well sealed so in comes my usual friend try not to spit it too much very very tough packaging doesn't want to know at all that looks like it's the best i'm going to get there that's a very tough package just wipe my knife a little and finally well have the main food and have a look at this mackerel I wasn't sure whether to have the mackerel for breakfast or with one of the other meals but in the UK we regularly eat fish for breakfast things like kippers sardines pilchards so this is just a simple mackerel in 
Brian, oh, I've dropped it everywhere. I think I'm just going to leave it like that because it's going everywhere. So mackerel fillets in brine. Let's have a little clean up. Got the smell of fish all over my tray now. Hope it's not contaminated everything. Okay, it's certainly all over my hands. We have a wet nap. And unusually, because I've just spilt mackerel all over my hands, I'm going to have a look at that now to give my hands a wipe. So a very simplistic wet nap. Unusual for me to use these first. Obviously you should do before eating, but my hands are clean. They are. I'm working from home. So quite a large looking wet nap. Much larger than the usual little ones. Very wet, very moist. A little bit stronger than the usual paper style. No smell. And a very good moist nap. Not as good as the British Army naps. I always think they are the supreme ones. They're big, they're cloth, they're stretchy. But out of the paper style napkins, certainly one of the better ones. Still smell that fish. It's not removing the smell of the fish. So let's just hope it is actually disinfecting your hands. But a good, a good wet nap. Generally, I think I'm also going to need some gum, freshen the breath. So I've also got the gum here. Should just it says four sticks, four briquettes. So a nice smell of peppermint on opening that. Smells like peppermint, could be spearmint, but smells like peppermint. up to the bag a little so there is four I should just take out a couple just for demonstration and I have some salt on standby just in case so I'm still smelling badly of that fish it's everywhere but there's nothing I can do about it now so we'll carry on let's have a look at the coffee hmm decent not bitter one of the better actual ration coffees out there is an instant but with this quantity of water and a full pack of sugar it's made a nice decent tasting um, black coffee quite impressed not bad at all we'll take a look at this um, vitamin drinks powder it is on the packet just says multivitamins Mm. again quite a sharp lemon taste doesn't seem like a refreshing lemon drink it does seem like it's a, an isotonic vitamin style nutrient replacement drink but that said it's got a very bitter uh, lemon tartness to it it does actually make your cheeks draw in a little bit just like natural lemon so overall not a bad actual vitamin drink there okay so where do I start I think the thing to do is start with the pate I'll just wipe my spoon I've got that lemon flavor on it so let's have a look at this pate quite smooth quite creamy a nice smooth paste there is little black pieces in there I should imagine there's some sort of herb or black pepper so I'm going to taste on its own Good flavour, not overly power with the liver, there is a, a reasonably strong liver flavour but it's not overpowering, nicely salted, nicely peppered, nice and creamy, obviously designed to go on the little crisp bread so just snap a piece off first just to try, standard crisp bread you get around the world slightly salty this is the plain wheat flour crisp bread good quality nice and fresh let's put a little bit of the pate on the crisp bread good combination good background the pate 
Um, we have what we call Brussels pate here in the UK. So if anybody goes to the supermarket and buys pâtés, there's various different types. This is a typically what we would call a Brussels pâté, as in from the country of Brussels. Nice, creamy, liver flavour, plenty of taste, salt, pepper, not overly overpowering. A good, nice quality pâté. Very large tub. My wife enjoys pâté, enjoys taking it work. I think that would last a, a couple of days when I finish this review. Okay, just just clean my spoon. Moving along to the fish. This is now everywhere all over the table, all over my hands. I'm going to leave it in the tin. They are little simplistic mackerel fillets. That looks like there might be a bone or two there. But we'll just have a try of that. Typical mackerel, I think mackerel is found all around the world, very much tasting like the sardines in brine, the pilchards in brine, the mackerel in brine is the same. Not overly salty, not overly powerful in the fish oils, I'm having trouble getting some out because it's in the small tin. Mackerel is normally a very, very oily, powerful fish. This one is quite mild, but it is a strong fish smell. Nice and soft, no bones. Quite tasty, quite enjoyable, just a very smelly fish. And again, I've gone and used my wet nap, see if I can just get my hand under one more little wipe of it. Very smelly fish, but very enjoyable. Uh, just leaves, just need to freshen my palate again after the fish there. Just leaves the gum, which is a nice palate freshener. Oh, no. Or missed the jam. Let's have a look at the sweet jam. Nearly missed the jam. So this is the plum jam. It's soft. It's loose. Mm. Very sweet. Very very high sugar content. Difficult to dis describe them. Um, flavour the uh, the jam. It's very difficult to say that was plum. It could be peach or something else. But it's a plum jam. Obviously, again, try a little bit on the end of the crisp bread to make a sort of little pudding or cracker. Crisp bread is so universal, light in flavour. It works also with the sweet, so it makes a, a decent sort of after meal pudding. Nice, sweet, tasty. And finally, now back to the gum. Four briquettes, standard style gum that we see everywhere around the world. Soft shelled. Big hit of mint oil. As soon as you put it in your mouth, there's a rush of the peppermint. Soft gum. Not overly firm. But has got a good oil content. It does feel like that would last in your mouth certainly long enough to take away the, um, the fish oils or any sort of liver pate taste in your mouth. Very good, very tasty. Do need to remove it to finish the review, but a nice, good mouth cleansing gum. So, overall, the breakfast contents. All good quality, lots of flavour. The coffee is one of the better ones out there. Even the basic lemon vitamin powder tasted quite well. Pate, good. Fish, very strong. Obviously fish smell, but it is actually a good quality mackerel. So I'm going to leave this video here. Please join me for my next video, part two, where I take a look at the lunch and dinner components of this Czech Republic BDP menu one so for now thanks for watching
please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos and part two of this one coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.